Hello and welcome to our first robotics series. I'm Paige and today I will talk about microcontroller versus microprocessor. What are they, where to use and so on. So first let us take a look at the word microcontroller. Yes, the word controller refers to controlling something. And micro pretty much just means ultra small. A microcontroller unit, MCU, is actually a small computer with an integrated circuit chip. They simply run on one specific program and are dedicated to do a single task. Basically, if you ask it to do task A, then you just simply do task A. If you ask it to do task B, then you just do task B. Now, I would like to ask you, is microcontroller board and microcontroller chip the same thing? The answer is no. They both are two different things but has always been mistaken. A microcontroller board is simply just a board containing the microcontroller chip. For example, the Arduino board, SDM32 board, and the ESP32 board. They all have their own respective microcontroller chip built in. Now, let's see what a microprocessor is. A microprocessor is also known as a small computer, or pretty much just a small chip that is able to accomplish things that are much more complex than what a microcontroller can do. I like to think it as an upgraded version of the microcontroller. Normally, it's used to perform arithmetics, logic operations, or dealing with the need of processing large amount of raw data and medias. One of the most common microprocessor board is the Raspberry Pi, which is what we call a single board computer. Alright, next we shall look at the differences between a microcontroller board and a microprocessor board. In this video, I'll be using Arduino and Raspberry Pi as the example. So in Arduino Uno, the built-in microcontroller chip is 80 mega 328p, while the microprocessor chip for Raspberry Pi 3 is the Broadcom BCM2837. Generally, an Arduino or a microcontroller board will have a stronger input-output pin capability. The I.O. pins have better and quicker response compared to GPU I.O. General purpose input-output pins in a Raspberry Pi board. While the Raspberry Pi or the uh, microprocessor board is well known for their processing capability. It's able to process large amount of data or solve complex maths. Typically, Arduino is used for controlling models or sensors, while Raspberry Pi will be used for image processing or graphic interfaces. To understand this better, let's take a look at a situation where you like to turn on a fan. Back in the days, we simply just walk towards the switch and switch it on. But now, since human became smarter, we start to demand more. Now, let's say I would like to turn on, I would like the fan to turn on automatically during hot days. So for this case, we will need a sensor to read the surrounding temperature, and a motor or a fan to turn on and off. So, the microcontroller will be the center person to receive the sensor reading and decide if it should turn on the fan or not. Now, let's look at a different situation. Um, Let's say I would like the fan to turn on only if there is a presence of human in that particular room. So, for this case, we will need a camera and a system that is able to detect the presence of human, such as computer vision. So, for this case, since it requires high processing, therefore we will need a microprocessor. So, the idea is very simple. If you want to control things, involve sensors and uh, models, then simply choose a microcontroller board. But if you like to do processing and requires things like you want to do things like um, artificial intelligence, machine learnings, then simply just go for a microprocessor board. So that's all for today's video. Thank you and bye bye.